Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Again, we've got Chris. Guys. And today we've got a bottle of Fuller's Past Masters Strong Ale. 7.5% ABV. Now, you studied history, didn't you, Chris? Uh, a while back, yeah. A while back. There's something interesting on the back of the bottle there, if you, if you don't mind having a quick read. Yeah, I was reading this earlier. It's from a... Uh, Fuller's always rated their beers with their double X as a strong beer, so that, that explains the double X here. The past masters, what they used to do is put down their brewery notes on paper, and the brewers today go back to those. Amazing. Um, and they, they go back a long time. Yeah. And this one, the, this recipe, dates from 1891, which makes it 120 years old. It's fantastic. Depending on when fantastic. you're watching this video, if you're watching this in five years' time. Well, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. 125 years. <laughs> so, was um, it November two, December 2011 now, today? <laughs> yeah. So, it's 1891 this is from. Um, this is matured for three months, then it's bottled condition as well. So, this is probably going to be a bit special. Or yeah, yeah, it could be, it could from, very well be. From the description. Uh, quite looking forward to this. Do you want to? Yeah. Let's, well, I'll show it off to the camera. Mm. I'd like to also thank Amanda Hunt at Fuller's who sent me the beer. Um, she's one of the the brewery operatives, I believe, at, uh, at Fuller's, and she went into the store with her own good money and, and sent me some beer, which is great. Right. Which is absolutely great. Thank you, Amanda, for that. I think this is, might be. I said this before. This might be the last one you've actually sent me. So, so thank you very much. I've enjoyed every beer you've sent me. Um, I'm just going to take this stick out. I've kept every single one. I just ripped it. I'm a big fan oh, of the fellows. So I've, had, I've had their Bengal Lancer before, and that's, that's one of my uh, regular kind of uh, beers. Not tried that. Not tried that good yet. beer, yeah. Uh, let's get some in the glass for you. Fuller's glass. Oh, what a colour. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Wow. There you go. Lovely. That looks amazing. Get some in there. Honeydew glass. Have you tried the honeydew, Chris? I've not had a go with that, no, no. That's their take on a... Kind of, a, if they were to take on a lager. Right, okay. The summer beer type of... Uh, yeah, they're very light beers. Yeah. See, I mean, with a beer this strong... Oh you, yeah, 7.5. Yeah, you'd have seen this normally tucking a pint away each. I don't, <laughs> I don't think so on seven and a half percent, you know, no. and these gla this kind of glasses are good for this kind of beer. Yeah. So the colour, what would you call that in the colour? It's not quite a ruby. No. It's it's not it's, it's, it's dark, it's it's, it's, but it's not it's not toward, it's not ruby yeah. quite yet. It's a lovely colour. You're picking up a lot of carbonation on yours, isn't it? Yeah, I've got that, that, um, got that funny, yeah, that, which I don't, I'm not really keen on, um, causes carbonation on the drink, so it's going to fizz away for a while, unfortunately. The head, what sort of colour head would you use? Kind of off-white? Off-white, going towards Foamy. the yellow. Yes, yeah. it, it, it's a decent head, you know, it's leaving some mason on the glass when, when you move it around. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a substantial head. It's got the nose. Yeah. That almost smells a bit whiskey-ish. Yeah, it's sweet. Malty whiskey. Yeah, it's got a sweet smell. That a, a sour malt. Yeah. Have. Yeah. Sour malt yeah. whiskey. Not much hops. Not getting a no. lot of hops. From Get this. some malt in there though. Didn't in the Maltesers end of things. I yeah. suppose back then in 1891 they would have been predominantly malty drinks. Would you say? I'm guessing so. I mean, yeah. You're looking at sort of immediately post-industrial revolution and you know yeah. look, stuff being fairly standard you're not looking at your crazy hoppy IPAs with nice and seven hops because they, yeah. they haven't been discovered yet or that so yeah. they have been discovered they haven't been brought over yeah. so you know you're looking at working with English in the main ingredients I quite like the idea of drinking history from a glass really mm. so, so cheers. cheers let's see what we can get let's see what our ancestors would have drunk mm. Mm. Oh. You pick up the ABV off it. Mm. Yeah. There's a massive alcohol. You know it's 7.5%. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to mess about with this. So. 
No. Um, this might take a little bit again, you mm. see, to be honest. I'm not. I'm not oh, mm. the, the maltiness is clinging. Yeah. It's. Uh, it goes. Um, for the first taste, on a review, I was going to try and wash it around my mouth just so that it picks up on all the different receptors in my mouth. And that's the, the, the overarching thing is the maltiness. Not in a kind of a dark bear way. No. In a, in a sweet malty way. And that's difficult to. Have, a, have, a, have another mouthful and, and the mouthfeel. What do you think of the mouthfeel on it? That it's kind of almost sticky, it's mm. resinous. Yeah, I went this off my lips. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to keep it in there for fear of... Yes, yes. Yeah. That's not where I want the taste. Oh, God, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Oh. It's gone. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, just a, a quick, uh, one of the kids come in. Um, we had a little quick discussion about this off camera. Mm. Um, we're just going to go ahead and give our honest opinion. I think, I think as a beer reviewer, I think you like some and you dislike some. So I think, let's, let's, let's go for it, Chris. Let's keep working at it. Yeah, I think drinking the beer, we might get used to it a little bit more, but I'm getting a, it's almost like a 7.5%, extremely weak, in, in, in whiskey terms, mm. like any extremely weak whiskey, but it is, it is malt whiskey, isn't it? It, yeah, it teaches yeah. it's 40, 40 percent malt whiskey. You're picking up, a, yeah, the oakiness and and, and <sighs> that's in there, the, the sweetness. The, and, and when I said I didn't want it on my lips, it's in a similar way. And I'm sure there's nicer, nicer examples out there. But in a similar way, if I ever, if I've ever drunk something comfort, yeah, I don't want that left on my lips after I drunk it. I want yeah. it into my mouth. I don't want it hanging around there because that's yeah. not a pleasant place for the flavour to be. Good, good spot. Very, very good spot. I think back in the day in 1891 when they didn't have a big hop mm. to take away the alcohol flavour, I think that um, they, yes, it was more that it, it was just, back then it was all about the malt. Mm. They didn't really have a hop. To take away this this kind of no, and, and beers were regularly heavier percentages. And you think what beer was for in eighteen ninety one? Um, beer is for a working class man that goes and works in a in a pit in a mine. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 in a factory. At, at, you know, on a good day. And um, you know, you want a strong percentage because they're not going to be able to afford to have many. That's right. Yeah. And and so you want something that's gonna yeah you know, just put you away for the night. Yeah. So when they, when they brewed this beer, what sort of class they were aiming this at? They might have been looking at the the middle to top class of person to sell this beer to as a premium range. But um, it's part of the heritage series, they say. So there's a lot on the bottle. There's a lot of of talk of past masters and mm. heritage series and, and there's a picture of the old brewers there so with the emphasis on is on history so this is what they would have had as a strong beer years mm. ago but for me I'm not I'm not well I wouldn't go back to this I'm glad I didn't live in 1891 <laughs> for, for many reasons yeah. um, but I, I can see why there would be a need for this beer yeah, if, if you're uh, you're buying your, your one beer for the night, because uh, yeah. times are hard and, and that's it, that's all you can tuck away. You want a strong ABV, you want a big hit of flavour. Like you say, you have to cancel out the fact that all the, there's all these other flavours available, yeah. which we have nowadays that we take for, for granted. Um, yeah, and, and put it in that context, and all of a sudden you can kind of shine a slightly different light on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think that's what, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's all about the history. I think we've got to forget about today's hops, mm. because they just weren't there. I think we've got to try to take our, ourselves back into this sort of time. You take yourself back in time, you come there, you come back yeah. from a long day, working down Barry Dock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shifting coal. All day. Yeah, all day. Somebody gives you this. Yeah. Are you happy? You would be, absolutely, you, you would be, you would be very happy. Yeah. You would be very happy, so... 
yeah, I think this is a this is a big learning curve. Recreating it in mm. two thousand and whether it was two thousand ten or two thousand eleven, do you think it was a good idea? In comparison with all the good good hops that were out there? I think I think it's an interesting idea to be able to recreate the stuff that um recreating um People go back and recreate recipes from back then. Uh, I'm just, just going to hold the door a second. Yeah, we have been interrupted a little bit. Yeah. Uh, by, um, we haven't been able to concentrate yeah. to solely on our beer. But people go back and look at Mrs. Beaton's recipes, for example. So you, go, you can go back and look at Mrs. Beaton's recipe book from yeah. you know, a couple hundred years ago. Or, you know, you can, you can go back and recreate a beer. And I admire the skill that they've... You know, I'm guessing this is how it tasted. I'm gonna, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this, this is right. I, I rely on the brewer to tell me that, and and you know I have no reason to distrust Fuller's on the basis of the fact that their various other beers are actually quite good, particularly the Bengal Lancer. I I just think that, like you say, they 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 got the the quality and knowledge and history mm. to be able to keep this sign kind of log, this whole log of of. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, to be able to have done that. But for me, it's not quite for me. I'm probably going to give it a 6 out of 10. I'm going to give it a quick rating. I'm going to go with a 6 as well. I, I, I yeah. appreciate the history, I appreciate the craft. Yeah, absolutely. Don't appreciate the taste so much. No, I'm, it's not right. It's not quite for me. Um, not overly keen with it. We're going to cut this review short, but thanks for watching. You've been watching Fuller's Past Masters, Double X Strong Ale, and it's www.fullers.co.uk. Thanks to Chris for joining me. Thank you. And cheers.